Hi, my name is Stefan. I work at Animec as the Chief Marketing Officer, and we are here today to present our new project, Unreal for Web. What we've been doing for the last year is to develop a plugin for Unreal that converts Unreal 3D scenes and 3D models so you can just publish them straight to web. Companies can reuse their content that they've already created in Unreal when creating web-based applications. Just convert your Unreal files and start developing a web-based configurator or an AR application or whatever you want to do in 3D online. Reusing all 3D materials that you already have in Unreal saves enormous amounts of time and makes projects much more efficient. The first version of Unreal to Web is aimed at the automotive industry, but I mean, anyone can use it. So now I'm going to hand it over to Aydin, who's our CTO. He's going to give you some of the technical overview of the plugin. Unreal for Web, it's more than a plugin. It's a groundbreaking GLTF exporter that converts your files, but also an epic enhanced web-based GLTF viewer that takes your assets online with key interactive elements that you are already accustomed to in Unreal. Both are open source and easily extendable. What's GLTF? An open standard made by Kronos Group. That's the guys behind WebGL to efficiently share 3D between a wide range of apps. It's specifically designed for modern photorealism, compact size, fast loading, extendability. In other words, perfect for the web. What can the plugin export? All the standard stuff. Meshes, both static and skeletal, textures, materials, default lit, unlit, all the blend modes, animations, level sequences, width sockets, bones, levels including cameras and lights, but now the interesting stuff. It can also export level variant sets. Let your users configure meshes, material, visibility, basically make your own web-based product configurator in three minutes. It can also export special actors and blueprints. HDRI backdrop, SkySphere, hotspots, and player-controlled cameras for interactivity. Oh, and one last thing, let's not forget clear coat. How do we make it possible? By lots and lots of blood, sweat, and tears. We had to push some serious limits, putting GLTF on steroids by crafting epic extensions to support all the features, then fork the material analyzer and baking module to make the plugin even more powerful. The roadmap is not set, but this is what I'm looking forward to. More amazing Unreal shading models, more compression and optimizations to get every last bit and faster, epic extensions to more WebGL engines, fine-tuned logging to help understand how to get the best out of each asset, mobile focus. Thank you for listening. I'm super proud of what we've done. Let me hand you back to Stefan. We're super excited to have been working with Epic for the last year developing this plugin. We gave it to a bunch of customers and they all tried it out. The feedback that we got from them was awesome, finally. Now we can take our Unreal content online. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day. Bye bye.